Welcome back again to another late afternoon Dirt Rooster Honey Farm episode. <laughs> We're going to do a little experimentation here this afternoon. I brought over a bottom board, a screen bottom board with the tray slide in it. These are just those old cheap plastic cafeteria serving trays. Basically what it is is this is the back of the board. This is the front where the beetles or, or where the bees would enter the hive. That's their landing board. This is not anything you would have seen on my videos before, but this is just a little experimental beetle trap. The bees can't fit in there, but the beetles can go in and down rather than up into the hive. So a cover goes over this to keep the bees out of the oil. But you put these cafeteria trays in this bottom board and by well I'll show you I've got one set up already it just doesn't have the tray in it yet and it doesn't have that uh, beetle trap thing on the front of it so here's the bottom board for an oil tray I've got it stapled to this box with hive staples which is what these are and there's the entrance with the landing board and there's the back. We just have it covered up with a piece of core plast screwed over it to keep the bees out. So I'm going to do a little experiment here and you can just walk through it with me and see how it works. So hang on just a second. Let me get it set up. I didn't have any elevator music while you waited, so I'll get right to it. Here's pure vegetable oil, cheap stuff I bought at the dollar store a few minutes ago. Just going to pour enough in there to cover the bottom of the tray. Maybe a little more. Well, the tray holds more than I thought it would. It's not sitting exactly flat, but it's not going to be sitting exactly flat when it's under the hive either. There you go, that covered the whole tray. Took about almost half the bottle. And now what I'm gonna do is take that. I'm, I'm today I'm gonna add one of these trays to that bottom board, but before I do that, I'm gonna pop the lid off of that hive. And yesterday I was out here and there were a bunch of beetles collected on the bottom of the for lack of a better word, inner cover that I have on there that's just a piece of core plast, an old signboard piece. And I'm going to bump them off on top of the screen. And the bees won't be able to fall into the oil, but uh, the beetles can go right through that. So here we go with our experiment. I don't want to... I, I hate to try to do this with a camera in hand because the beetles run from the light. Ah, crap, I may have disturbed them already. Well, shoot. They're not in here like they were yesterday. But this will work fine for an experiment anyway. If I can get that. Well, they didn't fall through it like I thought they would. They can crawl through it. All that work to kill four beetles. Anyhow. Kind of a lame experiment there, but that's the idea with these screen bottom boards that the, is that the beetles crawl around on there. The bees chase them. They crawl in between the screen trying to get away from the beetles, or away from the bees. And they fall into the oil and drown, which is what just happened with, with these four here. They're still struggling, but you can see that they can't swim and it's cooking oil so 
any way they have to breathe is clogged up now so they're dead done deal now I put a oil tray in the bottom of this and yesterday uh, this whole top of this frame right here all this dark area right here was solid beetles when I opened it up they had them corralled in there and usually they'll bring them back up by the next day and they may have just run enough of them out of the hive that when I opened the box just now there was only just a few on top but I kind of doubt it I'm thinking they're in there somewhere so I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil on them all right I'm just taking this tray that I just filled I'm gonna slide it in there carefully I can see that it's uneven enough that most of the oils run into the front not running over the front thankfully but it's running to the front so I'm gonna have to shim up the front of this hive with something all right I found an old piece of rope and stuck under it and brought it up to still not high enough son of a gun son of a gun <laughs> so I can either add oil or I can put something else under the front all right, I just shimmed the front of it up with a whole stick and I could see the oil running back to the back of the tray now. So that's good. I don't have to add oil. That's it. I'll cover it back up and that one's done. I'm gonna try that same experiment one more time on this, this little hive here. I haven't opened it long enough that the lid is certainly propolized on it. And I think I have a corplast board under the lid, but I really can't remember. So here we go with this one. Well, there's no beetles to try this one on. <laughs> I'll show you another healthy hive there. Babies are doing good. This one here is going to want to swarm pretty quickly in the next month if I don't uh, keep an eye on them and split them myself. Get them down in there, check them out. Well, I'm very pleased with what I found just looking in this box. I don't see any disease. Uh, of course, I didn't go into it at all. I just cracked the lid and looked down through the top. But I didn't see the first beetle or roach or anything. It's a very thick and healthy hive. And it kind of surprised me because it hadn't been one of the more active hives. I don't see as much activity out of this as I do out of the one I was in just a minute ago or out of some of the others but this uh, appears to be my thickest single box hive right now so it's about time to start getting ready to do splits we'll be having queens ready in about three weeks and so this will be the first one to get split before they get that swarm mentality on them and uh, of course we split all our hives every year the ones we can because uh, every year you lose a certain small percentage of your hives or we sell some or uh, just we just want to grow our hives so as we do every year we will be splitting our hives and this will be the first one that I split just because I don't uh, I don't really have a lot of time to fool with them so I can't sit down and do all my hives in one day along with helping my dad with his, my brother with his, and whoever else is Chucks and whoever else is needs help. So it's a, a few week process for me, but this will definitely be the first one to 
D, chopped in half. Saw the old girl down the middle. And we'll have queens ready in about three weeks and we can start doing that then. But up until then, especially on this one, I'll be having to look into the box to make sure there are no swarm cells and just have to keep an eye on it. So I'll see you on some, uh, either some splits or some swarm traps, whatever I decide to do next. Have a good evening.